So, um, this album, which appeared in a lot of movies. And it's quite good, honestly. We digress with uh, Miss Kitten, Black Box, no, Bad Box. Uh, very nice song, Electro album. Um, how was it? Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh my god. Hallucinogen in top life. Um, that's basically a dub live album. Very different from the hallucinogen, hallucinogen in dub uh, studio album. This one has even some hard tracks on there. And it's quite good if mixed for a live album. Uh, Katie, uh, until the end. That's the third album, very commercial sound at this stage. The last album that I somewhat enjoyed before it took a bit before this stuff turned into total shit. Uh, Alexander Marcus, Mega, I mentioned this guy before. Uh, I really dig his look for all this stuff. Oh, oh finally. Grand Theft Auto, uh, San Andreas, official soundtrack. This, uh, there are various editions out there in regards to the soundtrack. This is the, the very chopped off 2 CD version. There's also an 8 CD version out there. And both don't contain every track, so we have to download the other tracks that are missing to get the whole fucking soundtrack. Which is kind of annoying if you re uh, consider the fact how, how much work you have to put in. Who should like that? Genius Party and Genius Party Beyond Ost. Uh, this is the um, double packed soundtrack CD thingy. And last but not least, the uh, Slipknot first album, special edition with uh, bonus DVD and extra tracks in there. Uh, if you're a fan of that album, you should get this limited edition when I mean, you consider how much bonus tracks are on there. I think this was even worth the buy for 20 euro. First one. Uh, you can see Globy. Uh, too bad, I can. Oh boy. Oh boy. I'm a little tired today. Uh, what was that? Higher Intelligence Agency. Uh, Biosphere Bring him uh, frequencies. Burning. Burning. Collaboration L ambient album. Or was it a single made album? I don't remember right now. Uh, square pusher, hot Nola daddy. Very complex uh, IDM. And very cool fusion jazz in there. Uh, also one of my favorites over the years. Came somewhat better and better. Um, Confessiamo la gloria di Dio, canti della liturgia di voce. Uh, I just bought this because I found a funny meme video uh, and I wanted to have a song that appeared in that meme video. Uh, Coxbox U turn, very techno y album. Less musically, uh, melodically dynamic. Um, Coxbox, the great unknown. Also, personal favorite. Most, uh, it varies the most in regards to others. This one has the most uh, own sound, I would say. Very 
intuitive things on there. Um, Nirvana bleach. This one, you know, of course, I don't have to tell you anything about it. A lot of great tracks in there. Nirvana, blah blah blah, everyone knows them. Miles Davis, kind of blue. Well, honestly, I got this CD as a present because somebody didn't want to have the CD because the person had it twice. And so I got it and it has quite some cool jazz tracks in there. But I can't manage to put into the CD. DJ Taylor and Flo, uh, the only kind of dimension, very hard trancy stuff. It has some own sound to it, but not that special in regards to the other hard trance CDs that I uh, have in my collection. Uh, the Prodigy, always out, never, never outgunned. Uh, a very electronic starting uh, album from 2004 or so. You can hear the change in regards to the last one that they made. This one's very electro like. Uh, uh, Chombo, Chakaron, Chakaron, Makaron, Chakaron. Funny, uh, yeah, funny CD thingy, single thing. Uh, Sisex, Mind Penetration. Uh, newer album of Sisex. Uh, very interesting. This is even the newest. If, we, if I think about it clearly. When you see where Sisex went with this, all alone, quite amazing. Seriously. Um, the next one don't want to come out. So let's put this one out. Oh, fuck. How the hell did I put this one in? This feels totally wrong. Man. Sonic Freedom, a very complexly produced Sargent's album. And uh, let's see what the others do. Let's just let's put this one here. For a second, and it's here. Put the Alex and Marcus one in there. Good. It's perfectly. Uh, on Biscuit, $3 bill, y'all. Uh, very basic uh, first. Aggressive uh, biscuit album. There's a lot of very aggressive stuff on there. After these albums, they got somewhat soft and softer, but this one had really awesome blood hunting, hooray for bo uh, boobies, uh, mainly comedy album, as you might think. Probably rock and all that shit. Then we switch over to. And Vegas, Scorpio Rising, uh, my favorite albums. Uh, the album is named after a short film made by an experimental film director. We watched even like the 37 minutes long biker movie. It was totally shit and boring. So you had to say that. Audio, uh, Genesis Device, a very dark, sinister, neurofunk DB. Directly from Poland or Czech, I don't know where this guy is from or Hungary, some of that. Uh, 10 years after Elvin Lee and Company, uh, that was some uh, hippie rock gang. I remember, I remember getting this CD from a teacher we had in school. Uh, Sabres of Paradise, uh, Will Not. Uh, what's the other one? Just come here, fucker. Prodigy music for the Judo Generation. Uh, this is also one of my favorites. It, it has very dark and gravy sound to itself. And does surprise with its own sound. Um, this one's uh, Invaders Must Die by Prodigy. The uh, newest album so far in the series. Man, just come out. Please come out. Seriously, come out, man. York, the debut album, uh, first album, also uh, nice 
some very nice pop and electronic uh, balance on there. Uh, biscuit, the greatest hits with you, uh, uh, some bonus tracks like Home Sweet Home, Better Sweet Symphony. Good results may vary. Very down to the grounds album. One of the first that I heard and got into Limp Bizkit. This one's quite good. No, nothing wrong with that album. And we got. Come on, man. Don't keep me fucking waiting. Limp Bizkit, uh, new old songs. That's the remix album I mentioned before. Uh, really shitty, really shitty stuff on there. Kind of ruined a lot of Limbisky tracks, in my opinion. Perfect Stranger, uh, Free Cloud. Uh, this is a very great progressive album. And uh, Perfect Stranger even said he asked a lot of friends and family how they thought it would sound and they were happy. And that's why he put it out because. They all agreed at a sound, you know? That's kind of cool. The Acid House soundtrack to the movie. Uh, great movie, great soundtrack, very British. So, oi oi, right? Watch it, give it a go. Um, music only, music but music. Uh, Technolize soundtrack. Uh, Technolize, uh, as I already said, is a great anime. Good soundtrack and uh, there we have it basically I'm done and finished with uh, my CD collection that I got over the years so goodbye to you all see you next time around